Not too far away from a medal presentation for the boys under 16 Cox quadruple skulls. While we just wait for that, I can tell you that the girls under 18 single skull, under 16, the girls under 16 single skulls B final is underway. In lane one, Ron Carley College, Sahana Ainsley Udemans. In lane two, Huanui College one, Olivia Tattersfield. In lane three, Ashburton College 1, Sophie Gibson. In lane 4, Wellington Girls College 2, Lily Bellevue. In lane 5, Cambridge Girls High School 1, Isabel Murray. In lane 6, Bethlehem College 1, Jemima Glayholm. In lane 7, Iona College 2, Hannah Ritchie. And outside her in lane 8, her compatriot from Iona College number 1, Ava Woodbury Wrinkle. So they are uh, just through their starting sequences, heading through all to the 500. And we'll just await. Uh, the ceremony here for the boys under 16 quadruple skulls. The medalists, please welcome them for the boys under 16 Cox quadruple skulls. The winners of the bronze medal in a time of 6.58.56, Timaru Boys High School. Peo O'Sullivan, Ben Allen, Josh Bartlett, Blake Parker in the stroke seat, Cox Finn Gollan and coached by Brian Smith and Jamie Harrison. The winners of the silver medal in a time of 6.56.28 from St. Peter's School. It is St. Peter's School. <laughs> the silver medalists. Valentin Barrio Frogen, Jack Kidd, Joshua Yeoman and Harrison McClintock. Cox by Alyssa Sherry Middlemas and coached by Chris Thorson. You can put your medals on now. And in a time of 6.51.43, the winners and gold medalists and the boys under 16 Cox quadruple skulls and the winners of the Wellington College 150th Cup, Wakatipu High School. Xavier Small, Ashton White, Marley King-Smith, stroked by Toby Rorison, Cox by Emily Howick and coached by John Morrison. Congratulations to the medalists and the boys under 16 Cox quadruple skulls. From Cox quadruple skulls to single skulls we transfer and there's the girls under 16 single skulls B final on its way down the course. Ashburton College in lane three are handily out there, maybe even in front from Wellington Girls College, Lily Bellevue in lane four. Lane five is Cambridge High School, that's where it's coming from. And also Iona College number two out there in lane seven, not out of the mix. Because fantastic effort for these girls to be rowing through into a B final here at Marty Cup. Everybody wants to be rowing at the end of the week and getting to do it into a B final is no mean feat. It takes a lot of work and effort to get here. So out there in lane three still, Ashburton College, then Wellington College, 
and then Cambridge High School, Bethlehem College 1. Back into Huanui College in lane 2. Then we would go out to Iona College in 7 and 8. Lane 8 is Iona College 1. Back inside to Ron Carley College. Just in behind Huanui there. They're very close, those two. But it looks like Sophie Gibson from Ashburton College is making a lot of the running here now. She's come through the 1,000 and done a bit of extra work just to try and pull away from Wellington Girls outside of her in lane 4. Then we go to Cambridge in 5, Bethlehem in 6. But they are still just behind Iona College in 2. So just a gentle breeze coming across now. It's got rid of all that fog and mist that we had before, so it can only get better, we hope. Still Sophie Gibson in lane three with a handy lead there, I would think. But just watching out there in lane seven, Hannah Ritchie from Iona College. She's put some good work in the last 250 metres in this B final. Third would still be with Wellington Girls College. Those three starting to move out. And in fact, uh, this run from Hannah Gibson out, Hannah Ritchie out there in lane seven is putting pressure on Sophie Gibson in lane three. Then we go back to Isabel from Cambridge High School, just outside of her, Jemima from Bethlehem. Then back to Olivia from Huanui. And then right close to her, but just on her left-hand side, is Sahana from Roncalli. So just watching that B final come through. The A final is due to go to 11.05. They'll be in the blocks and not far off going. Looking forward to that A final. Some good tight racing this morning. This shouldn't be any different. She's moved into the lead out there in lane seven, Hannah Ritchie. Right alongside Ashburton College in lane three. Not much between them at all, but still Wellington College in third. Then we go to Cambridge still in fourth. Pressure for her will come from Olivia in, in lane two from Huanui. Iona College number one out there in lane eight. Ava just starting to move. And they'll be looking to finish high up as they can. One and two would get them into a top ten. They're under starters orders down there for the A final. That's nearly set to go. So we'll pick up that up as they start to come out of the blocks. I think the barge is back down there. So coming past the crowd there, 250 metres to go. And it is out there in lane seven, Iona College, back to... Sophie down there in lane three from Ashburton College. She got a bit of work to do the next 200 metres to try and take this out, but it does look like Iona's gone past her. Ashburton College is second now. Third still is Wellington Girls College moving up alongside her, Isabel Murray from Cambridge High School. That's your four at the moment. Outside of her is Bethlehem College. Then it's Iona number one out there in lane eight. Then we come back down to Huanui in two, and it's Ron Carley in lane one. They're away in the A final. We'll just give you the field for the A final. And then we'll look and see how the B finishes. The A final takes precedent. There they go. And lane, or closest and going away. Lane 8 is Kashmir High School 1, Nina Oliver. Lane 7, Waitaki Girls School, Emma Spittle. In lane 6, St Hilda's Collegiate 1, Olivia Oller and Shaw. In lane 5, Onslow College 1, Olivia Lennard. In lane 4, Craighead Dawson 1, Nadia Vandenbosch. In lane 3, Glen Dowie College 1, Charlotte Lawton. In lane 2, Hamilton Girls High School 1, Madeline Cox. And in lane 1, Hillcrest High School is Ratara David. So just going back to front because that's what it was on the screen. But as we, we'll pick them up there. So there's Nina Oliver from Kashmir High School just outside of her and just pushing for the lead already is Emma Spittle from Waitaki. Then we go across to Craighead Diocesan. That's Nadia Vandenbosch just outside of her. Oh, she's a bit further back, actually. It's Onslow College. And then we have Glendowie, other side of her. Then it's Hamilton and Hillcrest. Just watching the B final finish now, and it is going to be a win there for uh, Sophie Gibson from Ashburton College over Hannah Ritchie out there in lane seven. Then we come back inside to Wellington Girls College, outside to Cambridge. Then it'll be Bethlehem College, back inside to Huanui, over on the outside to Iona College number one, then come back down to Ron Carley. That's the B final done and dusted. Let's pick up this A final. Nice close-up shot there of... Nina from Kashmir High School. Then that's Emma Spittle from Waitaki. Other side of her is Allegra Lennard from Onslow. Craighead Dawson just back in the picture there. That's Nadia and Vandenbosch. You'd think she'll have a bit of a sprint to go when they get further down the track, but it's been a lot of racing for some of these crews. Almost an inverted arrow as they come down. Nice start there from Atara David from Hillcrest. Just outside of her is Madeline Cox from Hamilton Girls High School. But leading there out in lane five is Allegra Nenard from Onslow College. She spent a bit of time down this lake. She came down for the South Island Secondary Schools and cleaned up there. 
So the reigning South Island champion is leading the Marty Cup final down in the three, the second 500 of their course. Then we go to Emma Spittle out in lane seven would be second. Back inside to St Hilda's Collegiate in six. Starting to move now is Charlotte Lawton from Glendowie College in lane three. The inside of her in lane one would be Ratara David from Hillcrest High School. Then we come back to Madeline Cox from Hamilton Girls High School. And then it's still Nadia and Van der Bosch and Craig here just starting to slip off a little bit. As they head down through 7.50 gone towards the 1K mark. Out in front there, that's Olivia Lennard from Onslow College. Then we come back to Glendowie, would be second now. In third position, Waitaki Girls. Then maybe out to Kashmir in lane eight. Back inside to St Hilda's in lane six. Very marginally ahead of Ratara Dava down there in lane one. Back to lane two, which is Hamilton Girls High School. Then we're back to Craighead Dossison in four. Still ones like College in lane five. Over St Hilda's and Glendowie in lane three. Lane six starting to move there. It's Olivia Olleranshaw from St Hilda's. So she's just alongside Emma Spittle, who's currently second. So it's still with Olivia Allegra Lennard from Onslow College by a boat length over Waitaki Girls' Emma Spittle. Then it would still go across to Glendowie. Ratara David starting to move alongside there in lane one. She's got a big, powerful finish as Ratara. So she might st be starting to wind that up now, but still second is Emma Spittle. Lane six and not letting go is Olivia Olleranshaw from St Hilda's Collegiate. She's moving up alongside where the Glendowie sculler is now. So there's a bit of a line up there. We've still got Allegra Lennard as they come towards the end of the bay and over the first thousand metre mark they go. So she's got a boat length at the moment, has Allegra from Emma Spittle from Waitaki Girls High School. She's got a canvas over lane six, which is St Hilda's Collegiate, and drawing right alongside each other out there in lanes three and one is Glen Dowie and Hillcrest. Then we come back to probably Craighead Dawson just a wee bit further back, but Allegra, she's got this lead. She's in clear water. She goes past that 1,000-metre hut. She'll be looking to maximise on this as she comes back down to the second 1,000, and she still has that lead over... At Waitaki Girls High School, we can see just inside of there is St Hilda's. Then it still is a real lineup. In fact, Glendowie just going back ahead of Ratara in lane one. Then we come back into Hamilton Girls High School. Outside to Kashmir High School, just starting to drop off a little bit, as is Hamilton Girls maybe now. But here comes Craighead Doss and Nadia Vandenbosch starting to pick up the pace a bit. She was back a bit in the first thousand. Now she's starting to put some work in. She's had a strong season, but she's had a lot of rowing this week. We'll see what she's got left. She's starting to push up on lane three and one, which is Glendowie and Hillcrest. But it's still Allegra Lenard. Emma Spittle sitting there would be a boat length and a half back. She's got three quarters of a boat length over St Hilda's Collegiate. Back we go to Glendowie and then Hillcrest and just watching what is coming from Craighead Diocesan out there in lane four, but it still sits out there with Allegra Lennard from Onslow College in lane five as she goes past the St Peter's of Cambridge compound, starting to make their way up towards where the crowd is. They'll be looking forward for a big cheer from them. Emma Spittle hanging tough. It'll be interesting to see what Allegra's got left. Emma's just hanging off her right shoulder out there in lane number seven. And down there in lane three, Glendowie's starting to move a little bit too. They've started to decide it's time to go. And just outside of her, Nadia Vandenbosch is slowly moving her way through the field. So starting to pick back Allegra now is Emma. Emma's back over. She's lost clear water, Allegra. She's only got three quarters of a boat length over Emma Spittle from the Waitaki. And then it is a line-up. We've got a line-up between St Hilda's and creeping back into it, Craighead Diocesan. Then we go to Glendowie. Then we go to Hillcrest. Then we come back to Hamilton Girls High School. Then we go out to Cambridge High School. We could have a tight finish here. They're starting to reel back this lead from Allegra. She's led for most of the race so far, but with 750 metres to go, it's down to three quarters of a boat length. What has she got left? Here comes Emma Spittle right at her, and then starting to move still there in lane one is Ratara David. In lane three is Glendowie moving along with her. Nadia and Vanderbosch is hanging tough there in lane four. She's starting to creep up. She's only half a boat length behind those two scholars, and she's moves past St Hilda's Collegiate in lane six. So Emma Spittle still within a boat length of Allegra Lennard. Allegra looks like she's still working really hard as they come past 500 metres to go. They'll get a big roar shortly. Give them a big shout, you guys down in the crowd. These girls are working really hard at the end of a long week. And it's still Allegra Lennard in lane five. But she's being wheeled back now by 
Emma Spittle in lane seven. We come across two. Hellcrest, Glen Dowie, and just watching Craig Head Dawson still in lane four. What she got left. Then in between them, St Hilda's just starting to fall back a wee bit now. But you can see the two out there. It's Onslow College. It's Waitaki Girls. And down here in lane one, maybe it's Ratara David. But I still think Craig Head Dawson in lane four will have something to say. She's keep moving through the field since that 1,000 metre mark. It's still Allegra Lenar, but Waitaki girls are starting to go up on the outside of her. We can see the fight coming from Glen Dowie in lane three, from Hillcrest in lane one. It's still Allegra Lenard out there from Onslow in lane five. Outside we go to Emma Spittle in lane seven, and we're still looking at Nadia and Vandenbosch. She's just a tough row from her. She was well back in the first 500, but she's chewing into that bronze position. It's going to be between her and Hillcrest High School down here in lane one. But Allegra's out there. Emma Spittle's coming at her. She's held the lead for most of the race, but Emma Spittle out there in lane seven. Is she timing her run? She's drawing up alongside Lallegra Lennard. It's down. Oh, might be a bow ball now between them. If that, she's going. She's up to rating Emma Spittle. Look at her. She's starting to move that boat. Allegra looks across to the rider and she's got to go. Down there, Olivia Otter and Shaw is starting to come. Olive uh, from St Hilda's in lane six starting to fight back. But it is Nadia Vandenbosch in lane four. She's holding bronze. Ratara David down here in lane one fighting as well. Oh, she's all on down here. It's Allegro Lennard in lane five. It's Emma Spittle in lane seven. Down to Craig Hesdosson in lane four. Ratara David in lane one. Back to Glen Dowie in lane three. Still fighting in there in lane six is St Hilda's. But then look at this run that's coming through from Emma Spittle. Allegra Lennard's lifted it again. Emma's had a big crack at it, but Allegra's gone again. She'll be half a canvas in front of Waitaki. So it's Onslow. Waitaki and the gear comes in Hilda's trying to run over the top of Craighead for third but down to the line they come and it is Allegra Lennar what a brave row that is she's going to win by three quarters of a boat length over Emma Spittle from Waitaki and in third Nadia and Vanderbosch she was nowhere with 500 gone and now the fourth is St Hilda's down to Ratara David from Hillcrest back inside to Glen Dowie over the top to Kashmir and down we finish here in lane two with Hamilton Girls High School well done to Allegra Lennard. You led for most of the race. You held off a brave challenge from a fast finishing Emma Spittle. And what a brave run there from Nadia Vandenbosch and Craig Ed Dawson. Just keep chewing through. You're never out of it. They've gone through in 8.55 and 40. Well done, Allegra Lennard. You've won the South Island Secondary School Champs down here. You've now won yourself a Marty Gold Medal. Fantastic race up against Emma Spittle from Waitaki Girls High School. And what a tough row that is, Nadia Vanderbosch, to finish third. Game rowing from the rest of those girls, plenty to be proud of. They'll be able to take a break, get themselves back down to the dais and pick up those medals. And I'll just have a breath and a drink. Just confirming the placings in the girls under 16 single skull A final. First in a time of 8.55.43 Onslow College. Waitaki girls, Craighead Diocesan, Hillcrest High School fourth. And then we've got St Hilda's Collegiate, Glendowie College, Hamilton Girls High School and Kashmir High School. Just another chance for us to acknowledge the support of the local companies that we really do value here at South Island Rowing. Twizel Painting and Waterproofing, Tricorp Enterprises, Mackenzie Building Supplies, Tonner Plumbing, Four Square Supermarkets, and Jake's Hardware. And of course, all the other local businesses that have opened their doors and done the best they can to support uh, all the visitors that we've had. And of course, Twizel Rowing, uh, South Island Rowing rather, and the uh, officials that we have here. Good to see the supporters that we have down there between the ropes and we thank you very much for that cooperation and hope you enjoy your day down there and that you get a bit of sunshine later on and you keep the water on board. Just wait for these uh, crews to take their breath and come back to the dais and we'll run through with the uh, presentations for them 
and then we come back to uh, the next race at 11.28 will be the boys under 18 novice double skulls. B final, followed of course by the A final.